You literally, on Monday, you phoned in somebody and said, we need live plants. No, 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 no. I said, I need the best live plants that you have right now today. That's awesome. I love this edge here where it's not gravel throughout, just a little bit of moss. I love how you're mossing the joints and stuff in there. You're even treating that log a lot like you treat your edges. And Absolutely. you've got, well, I think we're so close to putting down some turf and then it might be Miller time. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> might be, maybe. April! What on earth are you doing? Where did these come from? These came from my secret plant source. <laughs> I phoned a friend and they made sure it happened. So you literally, on Monday, you phoned in somebody and said, we need live plants. No, 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 no. I said, I need the best live plants that you have right now today. That's awesome. So yeah. you, I actually, you've got lilies and everything, huh? Yeah. Let's go see what you've done over here. There's a bunch of lilies here. Yeah, there's a bunch of tropical lilies there. There's some parrot's feather. There's some Joseph's coat down here because that grows right across the bottom. So it's cool. You can kind of make a turf. Some bog lilies that really planted a little deep, but they'll be fine for our purposes. We have over here some forget-me-nots. Oh, nice. A my bit more my favorite and parrot's feather, and my second favorite. More Joseph coat, another tropical lily. That's awesome. Parrot's feather there. We've got some zephyr lilies somewhere here. We've got some Chinese lobelia, and we've got a couple other things to make. Awesome. Johnny, what's going on? April brought the carnies. <laughs> <laughs> Just some final touches down here? Oh, little bits of things. These beautiful plants that she brought. Don't ask me to sound smart and tell you what they're called. It looks like bog bean of some sort, the but. These are yeah. aquatic plants. There we go, aquatic. Green Side up. I need April over here to, to sound smart for Milk, cover. That's milkweed? And cover for me. It's milkweed. People. Milkweed. Milkweed. Yes. Awesome. For the monarch butterflies. We'll release those at noon time tomorrow. <laughs> that would be that would be cool. That's what we need to do. Like release the doves. <laughs> I love this edge here where it's not gravel throughout, just a little bit of moss. I love how you're mossing the joints and stuff in there. You're even treating that log a lot like you treat your edges. And you've got, you've got one edge over here that you just love. You said it really reminds you of the Smoky Mountains. The whole thing really is, it's the deep greens and the driftwood and there's just, it's not a lot of colorful flower stuff. Yeah, you totally. You get her carnivorous plants and the- So this edge is incredible and you can see how it could very easily just look like a vein of gravel back in here, but just adding a couple aquatic plants in there and then really knowing pulling, what the water height is. Pulling one stone to the outside yep. of the liner right there instead of working all within the inside. So really 
I, what, what he's referring really bothering me that the liner just went straight through here. yeah like and these rocks are kind of you know the liner got tight right there sure That's what we had to work with and we had you know we need a walkway and a place for to relax <laughs> after all this madness so but getting one on the outside is really i think important so this is the rock that he's that. referring to on the outside and, and if you guys can picture that like so we've got this incredible stump right here and just to have a pocket of gravel here or a line of gravel would look weird without that rock back behind it so carrying boulders out past it even like notice how john came over here set that one off into the soil to me that rock was so important Absolutely. just so your eyes drawn back here it actually helps change the shape of the pond because both of us this weren't loving line. this straight line this is an artistic right here up of yourself right right because there's always something you find but yeah and i like everything you can do to lose that straight edge so now your eye follows the rock not that's so much the out. water line and then hunter coming in there and doing this adding that little pocket of carnivorous so these are break up the stonework and the, the line in here so that's a big thing and then the way that he gave it a hard edge out here we'll be able to bring that turf right in and just wrap it into that corner and those colors are just going to bring all that out and make it go bam, bam. <laughs> well just it's like that. It's going, it's what it's going to do it's looking incredible i think we're so close to putting down some turf and then it might be miller time oh yeah oh, <laughs> might be maybe It's actually incredible. I know it was stressful, but before we even get into like the roller coaster of emotions and everything that happened out here with the build, what were your expectations when Greg was asking you to do something in his sandbox studio? Like what went through your head? He's lost his mind. Yeah, right. Starters, you don't know I'm going to build a house inside my garage, <laughs> right? So that you guys can come do a home show that no one will ever come to. Yeah. I was like, oh, this is brilliant. That's, one way, to, that's one way show. to look at it. Were you happy you did it? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think it gives us a chance to uh, showcase what can be done and, and what our style is. You know, to, to me, I put so much pressure on myself. Does this artist of the year thing? It's wow. so overwhelming. Like, I just take it to the heart that we have an obligation to all the pond builders in the entire universe to uplift the industry based on receiving that award. Like, oh, and you and you did. I mean, you yeah. you killed it. I mean, it's little things from like removing the post on the pergola. It's notching the boulder. Or around the deck. It's you bringing your own stumps and ordering aquatic plants because you knew the April. Pizza, April, you know. <laughs> but, and all the moss and everything else, like, you're so focused on the little detail things and that's why you were right. artist of the year. That's why I needed three more days after we finished <laughs> to get it completely finished. <laughs> I love your design. I think my favorite thing is 100% the way the stepping stones come right off the deck across the water and then the use of the turf. For me, this is the most replicatable backyard that we've done so far like so many people are going to be able to visualize this in their backyard all right it's a wrap i'm sitting here with really kind of maybe the brains behind the operation over here the crew of modern design and i thought it'd be important to kind of get their take their first sandbox studio build and what their expectations what their takeaways and all that kind of stuff was tristan what you built in the back corner is pretty cool is it nerve-wracking working for your dad when he gets gives you a design on a cocktail napkin and then comes in and says, that's not what I was picturing. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit mind boggling uh, to have that happen, to say you've had something in the works for six weeks and that you've got this idea and design in your head, buy a second napkin drawing and then you're already too deep in it by the time he realizes. <laughs> so you just kind of have to roll with what you got, but it ends up, he, he was happy in the long run, but I'm still curious to see Dude, it turned what out, he's talking it about. Tur yeah, it yeah. turned out amazing. It knocked it out of the park. Hunter, the Man, the myth, the legend, patio king of the world. Did you enjoy it or was it a pain in the ass? I mean, it was kind of a pain. 
used to using like two inch thick flagstone and then going to six inch thick flagstone, but uh, I never cut into pavers before either. So it was all kind of new. Dude, you, you absolutely killed it. It looks good. Nick, I didn't see you do much of anything, but. <laughs> I, I'm, just here, I'm just here to look good, man. That's all I do. And you definitely were some comedic relief here and there, and definitely when necessary. But no, supported everybody really, really well. Is it something you'd want to do again? Absolutely. Yeah. Like, this was awesome getting to work with all you guys. It was fantastic. That's great. Like, definitely do it again. The guys are modern design, you know, everybody's got a leader, but without solid team, just like we have, just like modern design has, just like all the other artists of the year, they can't focus on what they do best without guys like that. Thank you so much for all your help. We enjoyed it. See you later.